It's Thursday the 25th of March. It's the last sitting day uh, of this block. Uh, select committees have been sitting this morning and the House will sit from two to five. Uh, we'll start off with the Leader of the House giving a business statement which will indicate uh, what's likely to happen uh, in the first week back after the one week recess uh, and there'll be an opportunity for the opposition to question him on that. Uh, after that we'll go to questions to ministers starting off with uh, Dr James McDowell to the Minister of Tourism about whether he stands by his statements and actions. Uh, uh, Irina Williams to the Minister of Finance uh, about the economy a year after going into level four. Shane Retty to the Prime Minister about whether she stands by her government's statements and actions. Uh, Ginny Anderson to the Minister of Housing uh, about the supply side measures uh, that were announced earlier in the week. Chris Bishop to the Minister for COVID-19 about the vaccine rollout. Um, Tracy McClellan to the Minister for COVID-19 um, the, about the health protection measures that were put in place last year and their effectiveness. David Bennett uh, on horticultural uh, workforce shortages to the Minister of Agriculture. Ricardo Menendez March uh, to the Minister for Social Development uh, about youth money management. Barbara Edmonds to the Minister of Revenue uh, about tax deductibility for uh, interest on mortgages. Nicola Willis to the Minister of Housing about the Housing Acceleration Fund. Ingrid Leary to the Minister of Immigration uh, about RSE workers. And Nicole McKee to the Minister of Police uh, about the firearm licence application backlog. Uh, after that, we'll have an innovation. It's a, uh, a special debate on local issues. There will be, it'll be a one-hour debate. The maximum speeches uh, will be five minutes. People don't have to take that long. Um, and members are required to talk about something uh, which is local to them, a, uh, an area of, of policy uh, that has specific effects uh, for um for them locally. Uh, after that, there'll be the uh, rating of Whenua Māori uh, Amendment Bill, the third reading. And if we finish that, we'll start the first reading uh, of the Mental Health uh, Compulsory Assessment and Treatment Amendment Bill in the name of Andrew Little. Uh, we'll be back again on Tuesday, the 6th of April.